state will not mandate COVID-19 vaccines in schools for employees or students, at least not for now. 8 News reporter Talia Cunningham joins us live in the Digital Center to break down what we know. Talia. Eric Deanna, good evening. Well, we've seen some Virginia school districts, for example, Richmond Public Schools take the lead and require vaccines for employees, but we haven't seen any decisions made on the state level until now. Ultimately, the Virginia Department of Health does not have the authority to set requirements for educators statewide, but we're told it's still a possibility for students later on. Virginia students and public school employees will not be required to get the COVID-19 vaccine for now. The legislative and regulatory processes are ongoing. The Virginia Department of Health announcing their decision on Monday, but the process started three months ago. Back in September, Kristen Kayea, mother of a 10th grader, filed this now failed petition with the state calling on VDH to mandate vaccines for all school employees and eligible students with an exception for medical exemptions. The petition reading in part, my daughter and all other students should have a right to be able to attend school without being unnecessarily put at risk by other students and teachers who refuse to be vaccinated. After weeks of public input and agency review, he can grant the petition or he can choose to take no action. State Health Commissioner Norm Oliver decided to take no action for two main reasons. Dr. Lori Forlano with VDH says language in the petition alluded to COVID-19 vaccines with words like pandemic and masks, but it never specifically stated COVID. Forlano telling 8 News it was unclear and too vague. And the COVID vaccine, although it's recommended by CDC, it has not yet been officially added to the CDC's immunization schedule. Forlano clarifying that VDH doesn't have the authority to mandate vaccines for Virginia school employees and doesn't have the federal recommendation it needs to require it for eligible children. But that doesn't mean the door on a future mandate is closed. They will um, possibly present future opportunities to, to revisit the immunization regula regulations. And as we know, a transition of power is about to happen here in Virginia with Glenn Youngkin taking office as governor who does not support vaccine mandates. So today we asked VDH what that could mean for a future mandate. The response was, quote, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Live in the Digital Center tonight, Talia Cunningham, 8 News.